The management of increased intracranial pressure, ICP, is crucial in treating various neurological conditions, such as traumatic brain injury, stroke, and certain types of tumors. Increased ICP can lead to severe complications, including cerebral ischemia, herniation, and permanent neurological damage. Initial Management Raise Head of the Bed This simple maneuver helps facilitate venous drainage from the head, thereby reducing intracranial venous pressure and potentially lowering ICP. It is a non-invasive and easily implemented initial step in managing increased ICP. Manage pain and vomiting. Pain and vomiting can exacerbate ICP by increasing intrathoracic pressure and decreasing venous return from the brain. Adequate analgesia and anti-emetic medications should be administered to alleviate these symptoms and prevent further ICP elevation. Hyperosmolar therapy. The administration of hyperosmolar agents is a cornerstone in managing increased ICP. These agents create an osmotic gradient that draws fluid from the brain parenchyma into the vascular system, thereby reducing cerebral edema and ICP. Hypertonic saline, 3% sodium chloride. Administered at a dose of 3 to 5 milliliters per kilogram as a bolus, hypertonic saline is effective in lowering ICP by inducing fluid shifts out of the brain. Manitol, a potent osmotic diuretic. Manitol is given at a dose of 0.25 to 1 gram per kilogram as a bolus to reduce ICP by dehydrating the brain. Smaller doses, 0.25 to 0.5 gram per kilogram have been shown to be as effective as larger doses in reducing ICP acutely. Sodium bicarbonate. In cases of metabolic acidosis, 1 to 2 milliequivalent per kilogram of sodium bicarbonate can be administered to maximize serum sodium levels up to 155 milliequivalent per liter, thereby enhancing the osmotic gradient and reducing ICP. Other Interventions Hyperventilation Controlled hyperventilation to achieve a target PA, CO2 of 30 to 35 millimeter mercury for a maximum of 1 to 2 hours can be employed as a temporary measure to reduce ICP. This intervention decreases cerebral blood flow and intracranial blood volume by causing cerebral vasoconstriction. Neurosurgical EVD placement. In cases of refractory or rapidly increasing ICP, the placement of an external ventricular drain, EVD, may be required. This invasive procedure involves inserting a catheter into the ventricular system to continuously drain cerebrospinal fluid thereby relieving elevated ICP. In ICP monitoring, ventricular fluid pressures are recorded from a zero baseline. The normal range is 0 to 15 millimeter mercury. Pressures usually are expressed in millimeter mercury rather than millimeter H2O in order to facilitate comparison with mean systemic arterial pressures. The difference between mean ventricular pressure, ICP, and mean arterial pressure, MAP, indicates the pressure at which the brain is being perfused with blood, CPP. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscription button. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below in the comments section.